Welcome back to Bedtime Stories with Eli. And the topic of today's bedtime story is how do you escalate intimacy when a woman comes over? <laughs> One more time. How do you escalate intimacy or sex when a woman comes over? Before I get to this Reddit posting here today, um, I'm going to mention this. If a woman decides to come over to your place, guys, that means she wants to be intimate with you and she will more than likely be intimate with you if you don't screw things up. If you take your time, you relax, you invite her over, maybe sit down on the couch, have a couple drinks, have a conversation, and just be patient and let her come to you. But let's get to this, uh, this uh, Reddit posting here, which is pretty interesting because uh, the topic is, it, well, first of all, it's from the subreddit Seduction. And the topic is, okay, so let's say you get a girl over to your place. How do you sexually escalate? And the posting has been removed by the moderators of Seduction, of r forward slash Seduction. Um, and he was, uh, this guy was writing a topic uh, regarding escalation and uh, calibration. There's nothing wrong with it. He really didn't say much in his original posting when I saw it earlier. And before I started recording this, I realized it was removed. But there's still enough information here based on the topic and the comments to share my thoughts about it like I just did. But let's just do this. Let's go and read the comments section and I will respond to what's said in the comments and see what these other guys have to say. And gals too, possibly. Let's see. I don't really have a strategy when it comes to it. I tend to go with the natural flow. That being said, I agree. Go with the natural flow. But you have to understand, if a woman is willing to come over to your place, she knows that she's putting herself in a situation where sex could happen. So, guys, you have to look at that to your advantage. It doesn't mean it's going to happen, but it will more than likely happen if you're cool, calm, laid back, and let things flow naturally and you don't force yourself upon her. Let her come to you. Sit back on your couch and don't even sit next to her. Like, you know, at my place, I have an L-shaped, uh, you know, couch, right? Okay? Like, if you were going to bring a woman over on a first date, which I don't recommend bringing a woman over on a first or second date, but some people do it, some people don't. Um, if you're going to do that, um, you know, sit on the opposite couch that she sits on. And if she, you know, wants to sit closer to you, she'll come to you or she'll say, Hey, why are you know, why are you sitting all the way over there? And I'd say, Well, you know, I just want to kick back, relax, and get to know you. Well, you know, I'd rather sit next to you. You mind if I sit next to you? Well, hey, I mean, uh, yeah, sure. Cool, right? Just play play it cool. Play kind of dumb. Play it cool. You want to give off the vibe that you're not like a thirsty and hungry guy, but you're into her and you're going to wait for her to feel comfortable for shit to flow naturally, right? Okay. Number one, watching a TV show together, sitting close in the couch, start holding and playing with hands, slowly escalate. It's been 85% of the cases, like I just said, but first start off on the opposite couch and let her come and sit next to you. Because if it, when it's her idea, guys, whenever women make anything their idea, that means it's on its way to happening, right? Number two, giving massage is another great way to heat things up, right? Right, if she starts to kind of caress you, maybe you start caressing her. Maybe you go and you give her a hug. Maybe you start making out with her. You start nibbling on her earlobes, her neck, you know, you know, you know how it goes. Number three, if she likes dancing, you can play some music and start to dance with her. Touch, grab, and slowly escalate. That's a, that's great advice right there. As general, sorry, as a general advice. Patience is the key. Learn how to read the clues, communicate boundaries, and you'll be just fine. Just be yourself. Be cool, calm, collective, kick back. Just enjoy the moment. And as a guy, you know, don't expect it to happen. Even though her being there, it's more than likely going to happen. 
when you come off with the vibe like you don't expect it to happen, women will be like, wow, he's being really nice to me. He's being cool to me. He's not pressuring me. I'm now more attracted to him. And now she's going to wonder, why is he not making a move on me, right? She might even say, you know, hey, why are you sitting so far apart? You know, I thought you really liked me. Well, I, I, I do like you, but, you know, I just want to get to know you, you know. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in no hurry. I just want to get to know you. And, I mean, would you like me to sit next to you? Well, if, if you want, you know, I'm not going to force you to sit next to me. At that point, she's being sarcastic. She's, she's basically saying, dude, come over here and sit next to me because I want you to be inside me in the next 30 minutes. So if you're going to be inside me in the next 30 minutes, then you got to come over here and start, you know, start warming up my engine, right? That's, that's what it is. Oh, man. What I would take to be 20 again in my 20s, man, 20s and 30s. My my current girlfriend hearing this, she's like, uh, I don't want to hear about your past experiences, Eli. Well, that's okay, babe. <laughs> We've all had them, right? Anyway, uh, let's see here. What's next? The original poster responds and says, that was pretty good, especially the massage advice. Absolutely. Yeah. Ask her politely if she can give you a prostate massage. No, don't do that. Come on, man. That's pathetic. That's pathetic. Let's see. Let me scroll down a little bit more. Massage advice is risky advice, but pretty great and rewarding, I would say. Well, you got to build up to that. You, you can't just get right to the massage. You bring her in. If she wants to come over... You know, you, you invite her in, you open the door, you let her in, you have her sit down on the couch. Maybe you're in the kitchen grabbing yourself a drink. Hey, I'm going to grab myself a drink. You want something to drink? Uh, you know, um, you know, do you want some wine, some beer, or do you want some soda? Uh, don't force alcohol into her. But if she wants a glass of wine or a beer or a soda, you know, have that all prepared, right? And be in the kitchen. Be like a, be like a great host, right? And women will love that because most guys don't make any effort. That's making a little bit of effort. No problem with that. And then the original poster says, give me a second here. Just a second. I think it works because it's kind of like asking for sex without asking for sex. Right. Right. So basically, the woman coming over to your place is putting herself in a position where she knows there's a good chance sex will happen. And she will sleep with you as long as you don't screw things up, as long as you don't force it and just warm her up slowly and naturally and just be cool with her. Okay, go at her pace. Go a little bit slower of a pace than she's going. Okay, so you kind of want to wait for the woman to say, hey, why are you sitting over there? Why don't you come sit next to me? All right, cool. Then you sit next to her and you don't touch her yet. You start having a conversation, right? You look her in the eyes and you say, yeah, you know, it's really nice to get to know you. You seem like a really awesome person. You know, it's so much better to see you here in person than that damn app, right? Make it funny, right? Then, you know, she might look at you and say, yeah, I mean, God, you're really cute and you're a really good guy. And she might start to then touch your arms, right? At that point, if she starts to touch your arms, you can say, well, well, well I didn't say you could touch me. Well, do you not want me to touch you? Well, I, I would say, well, no, but if you're touching me, that means I can touch you. So, well, what if I want you to touch me? Well, Let's try it out and see how it goes, right? Then what you do, you, you start to massage her shoulders and you pull her in and you go for the kiss. And then, boom. Next thing you know, dun, 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 it's going to happen, right? Just got to be cool, calm, and collective. And, and, and you, want to, uh, you want to always be slightly uh, at a slower pace, slightly below the woman's pace. The woman needs to be slightly ahead of you in the pace, right? But you don't want to be too far off, uh, but you also don't want to be 
at the same level or greater. Because if you, if the woman perceives you to be moving faster than she's ready, it's going to be over. It's not going to happen. Do 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 do. Let's see. According to this, always keep a cozy blanket draped on the couch and your place slightly cool. If she's into you, you'll come back from a bathroom break to find her using it, which is an easy end to swoop and snuggle, swoop in and snuggle. No, you don't have to do that. No, no, no. Listen, if you can't woo a woman into intimacy with your brain and your words, if you have to play games, like have a blanket there and do all that, you know, always keep a cozy blanket draped on the couch and your place slightly cool, right? You don't have to play any games. Be yourself. The thing that turns me on the most is when a woman it gets turned on with my by my intelligence and my 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 uh, my maturity, my my emotional security, my security in general, and my my emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence, guys, if she's physically attracted to you and you are emotionally intelligent and you know what to say to her because you actually feel that way and you look her in the eyes, she will melt and she will basically hand herself over to you on a silver freaking platter. It's not that difficult, guys. Okay. Learn how to read the clues. Important info there. Right. Learn how to read the clues. Big round of applause for that. Yeah, learn how to read the freaking clues. A couple more here, then we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah, agree. Uh, I, I agree with the patience, which is what I'm trying to say. I'm not in the rush, and she ends up begging for it. Right. You got the right, you got the right idea there, man. Agree with the patience. I'm not in the rush, and she ends up begging for it. I'm still fingering her, eating her pussy. And she asks me multiple times to put a condom on before I, I give it for her. Don't try to fuck her. Try to turn up the heat slowly. Let it let it simmer. Then bring it to a boil. <laughs> man, that was some pretty colorful language, but I couldn't have said it better myself, man. That that I have nothing to add to that, bro. <laughs> I have nothing to add to that. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, sorry. Okay, but not yet drives them wild. Right. Right. When you, when guys, when you're with a woman and you can tell she's into you, she's rubbing you, and she's trying to move it forward, and you're giving her resistance, it turns her on more. So what you got to do is pick up on that. Most guys can't pick up on it, but the guys that can, like me, all right, we'll just, we'll play it off. We'll just be like, you know, I, I'm I'm not in any hurry here. I just, you know, I just want to sit here and talk and get to know you a little bit more. And they're all glistening and turned on. They think you're sexy, you're a good dude, and they haven't been with a good guy and had some good loving in a while. And they're thinking about going to your bedroom in the other room, and you're in the living room, uh, you know, just being all cool and shit, right? Oh, you know, yeah, do that a couple times. Then they're going to get so turned on, they're going to just jump on you. Listen, I, I don't want to talk anymore. I can't take this anymore. You're either going to have to take me right now or I'm going to have to leave and go take care of myself. Like, I've had that happen to me in the past in my younger days. Um, that's a story for another time. A couple more here. Let's see. This, I am certain, dancing was just invented as a socially acceptable form of men checking women out sexually in public and getting physically close to them while having plausible deniability. No, dude, that's not what dancing was invented for, dude. But that's a nice try there, dude. I disagree. Anyway, <laughs> dancing is an art, bro. But yeah, I mean, it can give you an excuse to be close to a woman. It just doesn't mean it's going to work out. You know, some people have dance partners just to have dance partners. It is also an effective way for women to check out a man's package size if she chooses to grind on it. <laughs> you guys are so ridiculous. I mean, I have to admit, I was young once and I would think like this when I was in my teens and 20s for a little bit. Maybe not as much as these guys do, but uh, man, this is just this is just young guys just talking stupid here. Let's see. Um... Uh, let me see if there are any more decent ones here. One last one before we wrap it up. This is from a woman I, woman, I believe. Put my arm on her back and odds are her muscles are tight. So then I just say, oh, 
you're tight. Let me take care of that. And if she's okay with it, reach under her shirt and start rubbing her back. Has worked for me every time this was a dude. Okay. Yeah, I mean, look. I mean, at some point, you're going to have to try to make a move. Um, not right away, but at some point, when while you're escalating, you got to go for, you know, putting your arms under her shirt and stuff like that. You got to try something. And one or two things will happen. She'll say, no, I'm not ready to do that. Or she'll just let you have your way with her. And if it's meant to be, she'll let you have your way with her. If not, then it's date over and you never see each other again. That's that. All right, folks, I'm going to wrap up this one here before it gets too long. I want to thank you all for taking the time to view this video. Another video is coming to this channel soon. Um, please like, share, subscribe, bang the bell, select all notifications. Have yourselves a great night's sleep, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.